Hi. Did you know that Stockholm has one of the world's most modern energy systems? In our new combined heat and power plant in Jotagen, we produce electricity and heat using the forest's own energy factory. Let's see how it works. We start by boiling water in a big water boiler. To heat the water, we burn branches, treetops and other leftovers from the forest industry, which are transported straight to our new pier in the nearby Vatta harbor. When the water boils, steam is created and the pressure grows. And when we let the steam out, it bursts out at an enormous speed. The steam sets a rotor in motion inside the turbine, where the rotor weighs 29 tons and spins at a speed of 3,000 revolutions per minute. The electricity that is generated is distributed into the electrical grid. But the steam continues its journey. It collides with a bunch of steel pipes in a heat exchanger. The steam has now heated up the water inside the pipes to a temperature of 70 to 100 degrees Celsius. This is one of the smartest things about the plant. It's a combined heat and power plant. This means that the steam can be used to generate electricity and to heat up Stockholm through the district heating network. The electricity produced here every year can power a huge number of electrical cars, and the heat is enough for lots and lots of homes. In many parts of the world, the steam is cooled down in special cooling towers. This means that almost 60% of the energy goes up in smoke, or steam that is. Not very smart, huh? In Jotagen, we even capture the heat in the purified smoke. We don't want any energy going to waste. The hot water is pumped out of the plant and distributed to the city's buildings through an ingenious network of pipes. The network branches out, providing each building with warm water through its own heat pipe, which leads into the heat exchanger. Here, fresh water is heated for showers, baths and kitchen sinks, as well as the radiator water circulating inside the building. The district heating water is then pumped back into the heat and power plant in Jotagen to retrieve more heat before it goes back for another round in the city. In the warm water already used by Stockholmers, there is still lots of nice heat. Warm sewage water is turned into new district heating at the Hammarbyverket plant. This is called energy recycling. The energy recycled in this way can heat Stockholm's apartments for half a day each week. Excess heat from Stockholm's data centers, as well as solar energy stored in the seawater, also help keep tens of thousands of apartments warm and cozy. In other plants with high-tech purification technology, such as Brysta and Högdalen, the Stockholmers' garbage is turned into electricity and heating. Can you imagine that an apartment in Stockholm is heated by garbage for two days a week? Almost all of the energy used in Stockholm is either recycled or renewable. We have come a long way, but it's not enough. Our curious, innovative and responsible employees are working hard to meet our goal. 100% renewable or recycled energy. Thank you for joining us on our tour of one of the world's most modern energy systems.